It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back. I am playing as China, and it is our mid-maxing series as the Chinese. <clears throat> uh, in this case, we could go for this guy. It gives infrastructure at construction speed 10% because we are building infrastructure, so those do fall in line with each other. So everything's good so far. We're a little bit behind on artillery, which we're gonna catch up on now. Support equipment could probably use a few days as well. And that's good. Just sitting tight now and uh, waiting for the artillery to catch up. Liberty ethos, we don't need to bother about that. So right now we could do with construction engineering for the roads we're building. In most multiplayer games, you wouldn't build roads, but yet again, this is this is a demonstration of a multiplayer game, so I'm going to try and make it as faithful as humanly possible, and anyway, I'll, I'll do my absolute best to do that anyway, but the truth is I want to kind of make the I don't want to go on for a full, like, four hours holding back the Japanese as you would in a multiplayer game. I'm trying to make it actually fun to watch as such as well. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go here. Here, here. Here, 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 here. Got some planes too, use those for the offense. As you can try to see here, I'm trying to make an encirclement as I push forward. It's not much of a big idea because there's a port here, but I'll try anyway. As you can probably see here, these guys are making a nice attack. In that case, might as well just wrap around. Seems to be deploying more troops here, that's pretty foolish. So what you're doing right now is because you're attacking with like a narrow attack force, like a narrow group of troops, you're not causing the mass amount of loss of guns as you normally would, so that works in your favor. Oh, I've got the new guns as well, might as well get them now because we've got an excess of weapons. Opportunity for there's like a bulge here, so I guess you could try and break through here. There's planes here, planes here. Just gotta get through like a river, a few forests here to get through. It's too far ahead that. You can go for extra concentrate industry, get extra production. <clears throat> Fighting in the mountains is a nightmare. Northern China landing on this here. Oh, it's here. And that's been repelled. Having some major supply issues here, but we're going to grab this port, so that'll sort that out. When we grab this port there, the troops will be relieved. Yet again, a very, very ballsy maneuver, particularly with this narrow front line as well, because they can close you off there and you're pretty screwed otherwise. But there you go. I'm just playing it as, uh, as smoothly as I possibly can anyway. We'll just we'll go with that anyway. Smooth. Smooth, Dave. Alright, and then we're gonna have a guy that's gonna loop around the back even further and do that. So you guys can see that these troops have got a lot more offensive capability uh, based on their artillery, the better guns. You can see the troops are getting pocketed here and then and trapped. Uh, that's good. So in that case, we can uh, go here and then go here, go here, go here. Do 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 do. These troops are dead. He did. 
I don't think we're having as much problem now with supply, are we? No. Probably drop these down massively. I think in most cases just adding, just around the area you low supply, adding one infrastructure around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, usually works wonders. Especially if you repair those roads as well. Seventy percent. I've not got any other cities, but because they're such a large country, nation, whatever you want to call it, they'll fight for a very long time. Go, go. Probably extend our coastline divisions here as well, couldn't you? Because you could get encircled again, so that's something to be aware of. Go when you're ready, boys. This guy's almost number nine. Oh, no, he's nowhere near nine. When you get to skill A, getting to nine is really hard because you gain skill so slowly. You seem to gain a lot of skill really quickly based on the amount of divisions that fight on the front line as well. France has capitulated. So one thing to be aware of when France capitulated, there is a front line here you need to worry about. So we'll grab a bunch of divisions. Put them here. To just be aware when they uh, do launch their attack, they will be, be totally be pre prepared. Realize there's a city here. So in that case, we probably should go for that city here. That might capitulate them. Rudolf Hess is dead. Focusing on those repairs again. One, two, three. Can't go for extensive because we're not fascist or communist, but that's the way it works. I guess we could go democratic because at this point we don't have any extra, nothing to spend our political power on. Industry maybe? Yes, sir. There's a big port here, so this is usually a good area to expand on. The port here is six. I've managed to grab that city, but they've not capitulated. Netherlands, hang on a second, France capitulated before the Netherlands. Okay. Here, yeah. actually just a whole lot. Go here, go here, and go here. Yep. What I would normally do is make a super division with these guys as well, like make this division really, really fat, but you tend to have more supply issues, so it's not really worth it. It's really tempting to make one of those gargantuan super infantry divisions, uh, but there's not much to it really. It's just a big fat division really uh, that has a lot of supply. So I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. All right, these guys are gonna have a nightmare with supply in a moment. We have a bit of trouble with guns again. Um, encryption and decryption is quite useful for that extra small amount of attack bonus. Mm, 
on the fence, to be honest with you, on that one. It's up to you what you want to do. Don't need the steel anymore. There's a bit of aluminium in Manchu. So in that case, you don't need to bother with that. Now, these guys are going to have supply issues. In fact, yeah, they will have supply issues. 102% attrition. Hmm. I don't know how that's calculated. There you go, Manchu's dead. In this case, you guys can stop now. Just hold firm. You guys can go. For some reason, this, this is always like a really tricky dip city to take. Ask me why, it must be something to do with its position, I'm not sure. Are we done on repairs now? Yeah, we are. Need to expand our coastline division too. We go here and here. And there you go, the Japanese have left Korea and Manchu. All done. Oh, hang on, what? Oh, yeah, those guys, okay. These guys, there we go. Well, I say left, and we've still got these pockets here, haven't we? But these guys are dying out anyway. They're taking crazy attrition, and they're also taking crazy organization loss as well. So just let them sit here and die. They've got no access to a port anywhere near. One of the fears you could have in multiplayer is they could be building a port on one of these. So just be aware of that. Something that just jumped in my head just then. So you might want to grab these areas here just to make sure they're not building a port. Because they could escape. They could do a Dunkirk here by building a port. It's definitely something you need to think about. It's not impossible. <laughs> Infiltra infiltration's not really going to be that useful, but there you go. Oh, look at that. The, uh, the Soviet players sorted me out with that. What a nice guy. Go, clean them up. Overrun. At this point, half of these divisions, we don't need them anymore. We'll stick with 70 divisions. This stage, they can just join the coastal forces. There you go, done. Could plan an invasion of Japan, really. It'd be really tricky to do, but I guess it's a, it's a possibility. Might as well boost my capital to max, just to make sure we get the most efficient supply. Because I could make some, I could make a super division here. In fact, I actually might do that. In that case, probably have to max that out too. You have to go for... We'll wait for this to finish. In fact, we don't need... Uh, yeah, we need that. At this point, the game is pretty much over for you as China because there's really not that much you can do. Oh, hang on a second. Cancel the, the attack order. How annoying. Go here, 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 here. I guess planes would be useful. I guess we can make a row of those. Soviet Union. Remember, always training with the Soviet Union. Because, uh, well, in this case, not rubber, though. Malay is a good one.
Is it going to be a good idea to make interwar fires? They've got shit range, haven't they? Ah, they'll do, they'll do. Uh, we're going for the ships, weren't we? I guess we'll go for trade addiction, couldn't we? Grab all of them as soon as we can. Normally Japan's lost a lot of troops at this stage, unless they've managed to do a, a miracle... Miracle dis, um, evacuation from uh, China. But if, if it's the AI in this case, they don't have a lot of divisions, so they're in a really bad way. Damn, that's a lot of divisions. That's good, they've got a lot of divisions here, so that's kind of in our favour, because uh, it means there's less divisions on the mainland, I suppose. You never want to give up your coastline, though, be aware of that. Don't ever let them take the coast back. Planning that invasion here. Set an attack plan here. There you go, looks good. So in this stage I wanted to make this division bigger, but there's not a lot of supply here, so I don't think we'll be able to do it. But we'll give it a shot anyway. Yugoslavia joined the Axis. Oh, historical. Actually, no, that actually did happen, didn't it? And then there was a coup. They joined the Axis, then there was a coup, and then the Germans invaded, didn't they? Oh, Germany's invaded Hungary. Hmm. We have France in Albania. Huh. This is all historical, guys. This is exactly what happened in the war. Actual historical reenactment. We got enough to do this? Nope. Uh, this guy could do with a lot more troops, couldn't he? Trying to grab all the most experienced ones. How's the supply here? Pretty good. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why I always count them because the number is directly above me. Another six, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's good. All right. Oh, the divisions returned to the Soviet Union. Is that because Germany is declared? Yeah, they're at war with Finland. Yep, we are going to make the subs. That will give us a little bit of naval supremacy so we can land our troops on, so we'll do that. This is probably something you won't be able to get away with in multiplayer, because if the Japanese player's got half a brain, uh, they'll be able to put their planes in the right position and the troops in the right position and they'll probably turn the mainland Japan into a massive blockade with massive coastal forts and whatnot. So it'll be a frickin' nightmare to do anything, but it's up to you. They've really dug in here. Yeah, we can't break this. But the good news is there's a lot of troops here, so... This is a, a mighty fine distraction. Look at all this artillery we've lost as well, just from that one attack. Could probably do with a uh, an airbase here too. No, oh, South Korea's not. South Korea's having issues. South Korea. Drop that down. I 
because the the old model of planes have got a really low production cost, I think I might be able to like pump out quite a lot of them. Oh, we're having supply problems. Eastern China. Oh, I can't improve that. Alright, we'll go with that and see how well we do. Bit of a waiting game now, because uh, for the most part, you'd be waiting for your allied buddies to help them out. And I suppose at this point, you'd be lend leasing uh, other nations to help them out as well. You'd be speaking to the UK to help them out, talking to the USA, talking to France, seeing what needs to be done. You can see that they've lost out, um, the Axis have lost Africa, so that's put them in a bit of a sticky pit position. Um, but no. You'd be just sitting on your hands and waiting for things to happen, really. So we can go for extensive now, and then you can follow up with total mobilization, which is useful. Don't need as much support equipment. Get some subs pumped out now. This is our main fleet. Strange enough, still exists the two light cruisers. Flexible Navy. Probably construction engineering. Extra 20% is really, really good. If we can get around the back of them, that would be really sweet. <laughs> yeah, we've done it. There we go, I've grabbed that port. So now this is going to have massive supply issues. This port is a six. Oh no, I guess not. I guess not. I guess you can supply everything from the rear pretty well. Might try and back troops out now because they see they've lost one of those ports so the supply is going to be a, a problem. Two infrastructure. Yeah, they're having massive supply issues here so they're kind of backing out. Um... We're going to pull troops here. Do you want to connect with the Siam border? Remember, Siam does tend to join the Axis, so just be aware of that. Oh, there you go, pressure Siam. So they're about to join anyway. So there you go, something that's quite nice to know. Keep an eye on those invasions again. Yeah, they're not a massive threat anymore, but you've got those troops here that can obviously shove them back quite aggressively so if they do land you've got the option to repel them which they might try and land again there's a possibility of that can't uh, say that's not likely it's probably going to be like here likely aggressive go There's opportunity for a nice pocket here. I, want, I don't want them. I don't want Siam to join. I guess the war with Finland's finished. Low supply, thirty-three percent. Germany's declared war on the Soviet Union. Those volunteers are coming straight back. There you go, perfect. Eastern China again. 
And the volunteers have returned. Yeah, I feel like I skimmed over this one really quickly, but yeah, but you need to be aware that the, uh, the Siamese will join the war. So you need to be aware of this front here is going to be a problem. Oh no shit, I need to wait for this to close. Close it, there you go. It just makes my submarines a little bit stronger, which is going to be useful. Uh, select half of you, go here. No, my troops. You want to live? Nothing supply problems here. Need two infrastructure. Bit of supply and these fix in here. That's good. I want to admit, I've got to admit, in a multiplayer game, I probably wouldn't care too much about uh, low supply situations. I'd just be like, oh, I'll take the low supply. I'll just take it on the chin. Um and just take the losses of guns, and then be very strategic where I position my artillery infantry, knowing that I could lose a lot of my weaponry otherwise. Just a bit of nice to know. Oh, great, you get to make me, make, are you making me a pocket, my dude? You're only taking a while to arrive here, aren't you? Oh, come on, really? That was a waste of time. Yeah, no, the troops have arrived now. One, two. Fix that one, that's good. Um, we were going to go for total mobile, weren't we? That uh, reduces consumer goods by 5%, extra 10% construction for military factories, useless. I'm going to go for none of those because they're all useless too. I guess we go for the light aircraft. No, oh, our fleet has intercepted. Some subs. We're losing our subs. The subs that we've just made. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, we're gonna have to tell you to stop attacking. Oh shit, that's such a shame as well. What did we lose? We lost three subs. Just go here. Go here. No. No, we lost another sub! No. <laughs> Let's go here. Let's go. Repair. Brilliant. No, stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Repair. Repair. It's all good, dude. going to come down to just sheer numbers of submarines which will give us naval supremacy so we'll land. Yet again, I really seriously doubt you're going to be able to do this in multiplayer, but whatever. It's just it's on the table anyway. See, the biggest issue is, the reason why there were convoys is we were trading with Malaya. So uh, we don't have any rubber. Then again, we've got rubber from here, aren't we? Have we? No, I've not. But we would. We would if we could. Oh, and they've landed some troops. Oh, they've grabbed a port too! Oh, kudos to the AI. I didn't expect that. Um, what we'll do is we'll kill that, we'll get you guys to join up here, and we'll use these troops to push into the south. And we'll assign you to do the invasion here. Just so we can build a planning bonus up in advance. Oh, that rubber, we need the rubber. We trade with the Raj. Yes, not a lot of rubber though. Not enough for what we need. 15%. <laughs> Alright, the troops are arriving. 
Yeah, they managed to do a landing here. I guess it might be because we've spread our defensive force a lot thinner than we did before. So I guess that's something to be aware of if you do break out. But at this stage, I won't worry too much about invasions like this. Because, let's be fair, you're, uh, you're already con you already control most of the continent anyway now, anyway. Most of the Far East is controlled by you anyway. That's where all the industry is. Ignoring Siberia, obviously. Can we push them out? Yep. Got them. Surrender. Got them. Then we can use these guys to make an attack in the south. Which we're probably going to make them here. Nah, in fact, no. We're going to make it directly here because we have to attack directly on Bangkok. Yeah, the reason why we're trading with the Indians is because we've got a land border, so we don't have to use convoys. Okay. Alright guys, if you haven't enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. I think we're probably going to wrap up the next episode. Uh, turn on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. And uh, yeah, so I think we're probably going to invade Japan, and then we'll invade Siam. And then that's pretty much the axis out of the Far East anyway. And is the US in the war yet? Nope. Alright guys, have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye.